COVID-19, getting Corona cabin fever. These activities will help you record your life during this time period. We've studied many events of historical significance and learned them about them in some cases by reading from firsthand accounts of people with similar experiences during the time periods that we've studied. A lot of firsthand accounts. Well, you've got the opportunity to do just that. You're young. You need a record of this worldwide historical event. For your grandkids, your kids, nieces and nephews, we're going to help you do that. So we'll get to the nuts and bolts of the actual what's required in, in, in the wherefores in a second. Remember last week you did the time capsule. It was under week of 420 last Friday. 17. I had a video explaining it. I did a sample. There was a lady who found a purse. You could have answered by record and, and, and you were supposed to record what's in your bag, what's in your purse, what's in your, if somebody found it 60 years later or your phone. Um, and some, a lot of you did it via Google questions. Some of you did it on Flipgrid, which I really appreciated. I did a sample Flipgrid. That was week one. Let's start looking at some of the other activities for the rest of the time period. Let me get to mine here. So for the rest of the weeks. Now, um, first off, I told you about the time capsule. That's week one. Sorry. And then you're going to um, for and again, these are done flexibly. You don't have to you don't have to do them all at once. You don't have to do them on Fridays. You can do them other days. But, you know, we're going to post them and, and remind you about them on Fridays. Week two. How am I feeling? You're going to complete the attached doc. How, are, how am I feeling? Um, students also are going to complete a week, week four, week three, excuse me, the day, a day in the life of a quarantine. You're going to attach day, do daily routine and then miss special occasions. So let me explain some of these as we go along. How am I feeling? Simple, how am I feeling? I'll come back to this one because I did a sample for this week. I'll probably try to do samples weekly. Um, daily, a day in the life of a quarantine. The same one, yep. This is going to show up. There it is. Uh, my daily routine, um, a quarantine. Um, excuse me. A day in the life of a quarantine. My daily routine of a quarantine. Excuse me. I was trying to see see what's going on. So you're gonna you can either fill out the chart below and what it looks like, um, or or better option is do a Flipgrid. Now you're going to say, well, Flipgrid's header. No, it really isn't. I, if, you know. A, three, four minute flip grid on, it, it sounds harder than charting, but it may be easier and more fun. Think about walking through your house, recording what you're doing, a day in the life of a quarantine. You know, if I was to walk through my house, uh-oh, I just lost my card. I may have to go plug that back in. Um, you know, I you'd find me, you know, it, it, this is my spare bedroom where I have my clothes and I go to get, use my bathroom, et cetera, et cetera, all, that stuff, all the stuff you have to do in the morning. Um, that's that's you know, and then I go downstairs and grab a cup of coffee, all that other stuff. It's mundane, but that's what you're doing right now. Um, and then you know, maybe eat lunch and then retreat back to your room after your family's driving you nuts. Maybe you take a nap, depending on what time you get up. Um, you know, so look at it that way, or you can just chart them out via the time of day, like a timeline. Um, uh, uh, but it would be more fun on a flip grid, and I've got a flip grid uh, link to that one. Um, Right here, a day in the life of a quarantine. Right, that, that that would be that would be what you would do. Special events, special occasions. If you're anything like me, um, we've missed a couple. Right, I got lots of nieces and nephews. I've missed two birthdays, or excuse me, um, um, my bro my sister and my br brother in law both had birthdays. We had to do them on Zoom, Zoom birthday, um, a Zoom birthday. Start getting into next month. It's going to be parades. Uh, you've seen graduations, special celebrations of graduations. How are you? How are you celebrating? Include pics if you can. Attach them from your phone. What's the event? What's the date? Um, all of these try to do in a color, readable color, other than black. Then I'm going to talk about this week's. Well, how am I feeling? I'm, I showed you an example. I've been going back and forth between anxious, guilty, overwhelmed, restless. I'm used to being in my classroom. I haven't been there in over a month. You know how it's eating at me? Um, and, and, and not going there has caused me anxiety. I feel guilty because I don't think I'm doing enough teaching. But sometimes I'm overwhelmed with preparing to teach online. A lot of pre preparation sometimes goes into laying things out for you that, you know, I would normally, you know, 
think of in class and can just do on the fly. You've seen me, um, those of you that had me. Um, so, it, but that's all has to be laid out in advance. I'm, and then things have to be graded more um, meticulously, so to speak. Um, so I'm restless because I, and I'm, I like to go places just like everyone else. I'm going to go very many places. My usual trips to Meyer. My sad life right now is everybody else is looking forward to my trips to Meyer, and they have to be earlier because Meyer closes at 10. I know. I know they've kind of had time to restock their shelves. I know that's like rubbing elbows with the night stock people, which I can't do anymore. And then, of course, as they complain, I feel guilty and anxious for all the sick and the dying, as anybody, as anybody would. But I'm also frustrated by the, by, by the lack of bipartisanship in the government. We need them in a time of crisis. Have they shown up, or have they been just, or have we just had a lot of partisan bickering? I, I don't know. Anyways. We're going to have a guest that's going to talk about that in a minute here. Seeing my family in person is, and the next thing you're going to do is three things I'm excited for when this is over. Seeing my family, all my family, my parents, my brothers and sisters, my nieces and nephews, as, as opposed to just being over Zoom. Going to a restaurant or an event like graduation. Not having to wear a mask or washing and sanitizing my hands after every blessed activity. I know it's important. Hands are getting a little raw and chapped. I don't know if you can see them. Um, a lot of lotion. What am I thankful for? Of course, my faith and my health, of the health of my family, that I have the opportunity to continue to teach and interact with students online. But I'm also thankful for my knowledge, uh, of the, the best of my ability. I'm also thankful for my knowledge of government. But I wish I had the ability to under help people understand how it's supposed to work, especially, especially in a crisis. It's going to lead to my guest, special guest. Jean-Jacques Rousseau, image had me decided had, had me come in and talk about Jean-Jacques Rousseau. Everyone, Dimitri asked me to come in and talk about he he. I I stepped at his doorstep. I knew he was feeling a little down, anxious. Everybody is. Remember, I was that great philosopher um, of of of, of uh, the Enlightenment time period. Uh, there's my there's my web page, and and remember, I wrote about a lot about the social contract and how government is a social. Co that was an Enlightenment thing. I wrote about a, lot, a lot about how government is a social contract between the governed and the government. The Constitution is a social contract, ladies and gentlemen. It's a social contract. Let's look at and let's look at the, the preamble for just a moment. Let's look at the preamble. The Declaration of Independence. The amendments. I need to find my preamble here. Article one, article two. We the people of the United States in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, and provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity, do ordain and establish this constitution of the United States of America, for the United States of America. That is a social contract. Social contracts have different provisions. People have an obligation to follow their government, but their government, they have to have faith in that government, that their government is doing the right thing. People need, and by turn, people need to vote based on the best interest of the people. That becomes very important in times like this. A social contract is the government living up to its obligations? Are the people living up to their obligations to each other? That's the question that you need to ask yourself. What can we do to improve those situations? Just wanted to take a quick visit. Dimitri will be returning. I know, social distancing guidelines. He's over six feet away. Don't want to infect him. He's not going to be in the screen. He's over there six feet away. I came into his house. I understand your governor's got rules against going to other people's houses. I know. Sorry. Sorry, Governor Whitmer. Okay. 
How was Rousseau? He, he came in, he invaded my house. I know we broke social distancing, came into my house. We were talking about the constitution and, and, and the, and our, our social contract. And I liked his take. So I wanted him to, to pay you a visit. Now to finish this off, what are, you know, what am I thankful for? What, uh, uh, the daily routine and the life of a quarantine and so on. Um, and then, and then I'm here to give you a quick preview and I'll post this later of weeks five, six, and seven, a letter to myself that you'll write in a Google doc, um, a interview with a parent or guardian that, that you could do in video or Flipgrid, and then an overview of Google slideshow with pictures and artifacts that more, more to come on that. I'm not going to post that right away, um, but I'll explain that more later. This video is already going a little too long as it is. Remember the the flip grid um, day in the life of a quarantine. You can put you can put here if you if you want to. Um, you can put into uh, flip grid. I've got the, the link to the flip grid right here. I've got in fact I've got several different topics under the, the this grid. Um, some of these are are, are the other ones. Um, you also have the time capsule item, the interview with the adult, the day in the life of quarantine, and so on as we as we go along here. Um, so again, week, week one, week two, you don't have to. You can do these all at once. You can do these on subsequent Fridays. But here's the deal. No, they're not going to be formally graded. But you may, in a place for weeks, all of the activities for weeks one through four, you may substitute one homework class assignment. Not a project test way to assign. We haven't had any of those yet, but you, we will probably complete it during, during online learning. One homework class assignment you can substitute. You'll need to private message me, private message Campbell, which assignment you're replacing when turning in the time capsule activities. Okay. In, in other words, when you're turning this in it, and it needs to be done by the due date. The due date for this is um, for weeks one through four is going to be March, or excuse me, not March. I'm losing track of the Dates, May 7th, May 7th, and then weeks, I'll probably post it a little earlier, but weeks five through seven activities um, will be done weeks, uh, you know, it will be due at the end of May. And that will also be, you can replace one assignment with weeks five through seven. So right now we're focused on weeks one through four, but soon we'll have weeks five through seven as well. So again, one online assignment for all of it. And that includes the week one time capsule, the week two, how are we feeling, the week three, life of a, a daily life of, the, of a quarantine, week four, special occasions. All of them um, need to be done to complete it, for, to replace one online assignment. Okay, one online assignment. You can you can do uh, replace one online. So if you're getting tired of doing some of the online work, you can replace um, this with, um, this particular activity with that. Otherwise, it's I'm not, you know, requirement to turn this in. We're not we're doing the Friday stuff. It wasn't the Friday activities, even though they're fun and I, they, they, you know, you were creating a little historical background here. It's 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 not formally graded. It it could be a replacement grade if you if you wish to do it and you wish to make it a quality replacement grade. Okay, so hopefully you have a little fun with this. I know so I had fun looking at your time capsules and I had fun watching your videos. So hopefully um, you'll 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 do some of these and 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 uh, we'll get we'll get how you're we'll get how you're feeling. Um, Sam Slocum, you need to keep it to a few minutes. A um, uh, you're you get a, only two minutes to rant and then and then and then we need to get down to brass tacks about uh, about how you're you're feeling truly. All right. Till next time. Bye-bye.